Hello, my name is Joe Murray uh, from the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I want to talk to you about a, a study that was recently published on a condition called autoimmune enteropathy. Autoimmune enteropathy is a very rare disease that affects far less people than the much more common disorder of celiac disease. But it has symptoms of diarrhea, weight loss, and damage in the intestine. And the damage can extend to the stomach and the colon. And in this condition, the body's immune system is attacking the lining of the gastrointestinal tract and can cause quite severe symptoms. And we compared this very rare condition to a severe celiac disease, or what we call refractory celiac disease. This disease is, tends to be a little bit more affects men than women, where celiac disease affects more women than men. It did respond to a type of treatment using a steroid called budesonide. This is a treatment that is widely used for another condition called Crohn's disease. And we found that by altering the way this drug is used, so it was delivered further up in the intestine, we were able to get a pretty good response with this treatment for this rare disease of autoimmune enteropathy. So what does that mean to most people out there, to most doctors? If you find a patient which kind of looks like celiac disease, it smells like celiac disease, they've got poor, the patient has got malabsorption and weight loss and diarrhea, and the biopsies show the loss of the villi, but the celiac blood tests are negative, maybe even the patient doesn't have the genetic type for celiac disease, then this is one of those conditions to think about. We also found that it's associated with other autoimmune conditions affecting other parts of the body, maybe another clue. There are tests that one can do. There's a blood test called the anti-enterocyte antibody that sometimes, but not always, is positive in these patients. So this is indeed is a very rare disease, but an important disease to identify, and we found that it can respond to treatment. Thank you.